Welcome to Cobot. This video is to show you how to set up your resources. First, go to Bookings, Resources. Resources can be anything that you want your members to reserve, either for free or at a cost. These should only be short-term rental products, such as meeting rooms, desks, equipment, or time in a studio or event space. Let's start at the top. First, enter in your resources name, a price per hour, and a description so your members know what they are booking. The price per hour will be the default amount, so be sure to add your base rate for this resource here. You can add custom tax rates for resources within your member plans, which we will review in the next video. You can add a photo and a unique color. Further steps allow you to add minimum and maximum duration of bookable time, which will stop your members from being able to create a booking outside of these. For example, they will not be able to create a booking less than 30 minutes or for more than two hours at one time. The cancellation notice prevents members from canceling bookings within this time frame prior to when the booking starts. So if you add 24, then the member will not be able to cancel the booking within 24 hours of that start time. The number of units indicates how many people can book that resource at one time. For example, if you have one meeting room, enter 1. But if you have multiple units of the same resource, such as hot desks or equipment, enter the total number that can be booked at one time. The capacity indicates how many people can physically fit into that meeting room or event space. The available booking times will limit when your members can make a booking and on what days. So if you add Monday to Friday, then members will not be able to book on the weekends. If you add a time frame of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., then they will not be able to book outside of those times. Keep in mind when working with the booking calendar that as an admin, you will have override capabilities. This means you will always be able to book your resources for more or less time than you have added above and on days of the week outside of these settings. You can then choose to make the resource hidden or only bookable by admins. After you've entered the available resources, you and your members will now have access to them in your booking calendar. If you have multiple kinds of resources, you can separate them further into categories. You and your members will then be able to toggle the view on and off to make it easier to see which of your resources are available. These can be organized into floors of your building, types of resources, or anything really. To make a booking as an admin, click on the booking calendar and then New Booking. You can now select the date, time, and duration of the booking. Keep in mind, members will only be able to make bookings under their name, but you as an admin will be able to choose the member you would like to make the booking under, or you can just leave it blank. You can also add a title and comments if relevant. This will then appear on your booking calendar and will be visible to all members who have access to their member portal, as well as other admins of your space. If you do not want your member data, such as the person's name, to be visible to other members in your space, then you can click on Calendar Settings and hide booking details from other members. This will then show the booking to other members as a time block, but with no member name or booking title. You can switch the views between monthly, weekly, or day. Let's move on to our next video about how to set up your member plans.